Hey guys, now we're looking at airflow sensors. The one pictured here is an R34 airflow sensor. It's used on the Series 2 R33s, as well as the R34 Neo and uh, Series 2 Stager. Now, these ones will measure about 240 rear wheel kilowatts before they start maxing out. Uh, after that, we need to upgrade the sensor. These airflow meters use a hot wire. The wire is heated up and then air runs past the airflow meter and causes the wire to cool down. The amount that it cools down by is used to determine the amount of load that the ECU measures. This is a 300ZX Z32 airflow meter. Some people also refer to it as an N62 MAF because of the last digits on the part number. This airflow meter has been shown to measure between 350 and 370 rear wheel kilowatts. Uh, the main benefit of using this is the power increase that it can measure, but also it can be subject to reverse. As you can see here, you can see the hot wire. Airflow can travel in both directions, which means that for reversion, airflow going backwards from the turbo through the airflow meter can cause spikes and dips in the measurement of airflow. Particularly spikes will cause a rich condition, followed by a dip resulting in a lean condition can cause the start car to stall. Here we have an R35 GDR airflow sensor uh, with the pigtail. The pigtails aren't readily available from Nissan but can be sourced from other vehicles. The airflow meter itself is a slot style sensor. These are used on newer model Nissans. What they use is a slot which is located in the front here. Airflow meter goes in and then out the sides where there's a vent. What this causes is for the airflow to pass through the sensor with minimal effects of reversion. It also protects the element further. These sensors can be used in front or after the turbo. However, keep in mind if you use them after the turbo that if you have any kind of oil condensation it will affect the sensor and its reading eventually over time damage the sensor. An alternate sensor we have now is the Nistune HPX airflow sensor. These are made by PMAS in the US. These are able to measure over 600 rear wheel kilowatts. They have a massive reading range. However, what they will normally mean during tuning is that we will need to cut down the amount of airflows that the sensor can read inside the Nistune software. When using these sensors in larger turbo applications, such a tube size as this can be used. This is a four inch tube and it has a honeycomb grill at the end. What the honeycomb grill does is it strains the air going through the sensor as to avoid any problems with measuring the airflow. The sensor itself must be located in the middle of the tube. This allows uniform airflow measurement. This here is the three and a half inch tube. Uh, compared to some four inch tube, it's just got a different size uh, mount on it. These bungs are welded on. The bungs can be purchased with the tube itself from MRP machining in the US or you can also purchase these separately. They come in various sizes, three, three and a half inch and four inch. And these simply weld on to existing piping, can be welded before or after the turbo and then simply mount the sensor. Make sure you get the right size for the tubing that you require. Today we're using the uh, HPX airflow sensor on a three inch tube and that's flanged onto a air filter. So we're gonna use this in the R34 and do some tuning on it. It's important on the vehicle to have the hoses pointing towards the turbo and away from the airflow meter if you're using a blower valve. It's highly recommended a blower valve is used because any excess airflow from the turbo should be measured and not vented. This here is the mouth of where the airflow meter would bolt in. So as you can see, airflow goes in and any excess airflow will go back into the turbo again. Here on the R34, we're using the factory blower valve. So here we are in the R34. Uh, there's the tube with the airflow sensor. And we're just going to bolt it into here. That's a bit of a squeeze. Just bear with me. Okay, so that's in. Now just bolt it up. 
So the good thing with these HPX sensors is that they are quite resistant to reversion. They measure a lot of power and they're fairly uh, price effective too compared to these if they're too airflow manually. So here I have a bunch of sensors. I try all sorts of different airflow sensors out. Uh, so yeah, we're looking at the HPX one with the red plug.